Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again Pisces. Um, we're doing the horoscope spread today guys and as you can see I typically use a mini or a pocket size deck but this is a lovely lovely uh, deck that I acquired recently, the Ancient Italian Tarot. So um, if you guys are new I have the description of the horoscope spread in the description box but we're looking at 12 cards. Each of them represents um, an area of life. This is not an astrology reading, it's a tarot reading. It's called the horoscope spread. For those who are new, otherwise guys, you know that house number one, we look at personality, the way we present and the way that we may be perceived, okay? And these are general notes. So if they don't resonate, that is perfectly natural. Um, Second house, we look at money, resources. Uh, third house, we look at communication, learning, thinking. House number four, we look at home and family life. House number five, we look at romance, uh, offspring, uh, pleasures of life as a whole. And then house number six, we look at work life, day-to-day -day services. House number seven, we look at marriages and partnerships. House number eight, we look at, it's about death transformation uh, and also shared resources, shared investments. House number nine, we talk about uh, spirituality, philosophy, faith, uh, your outlook on these points. And house number 10, we look at your success, your achievement, your status. House number 11, we look at social life, community ties and friendships. And last but not least, house number 12, we look at, in a way, a note on karma. So the horoscope spread, if we were doing a private reading, I don't always have to turn every single um, area of life. Depends on the type of question. But being general, let's say that Pisces, the hermit persona, in a way, is very analytical. Okay, the hermit persona presents... Um, so the card suggests, you know what, a more senior, an older soul, if you will. But the hermit persona in my in my inner, you know, in my inner view, okay, is an inner thinking kind of persona. So it's a characteristic, guys. It doesn't mean that you are uh, always looking inwards, but it's a highlightable trait that we can talk about and we say inner search. You know what, an inner strength are both key things to understand. Um, at times, though with communication, just because it's that hermit, with communication, if we appear um, unengaged, that could be something to take note of. Uh, looking inwards is always uh, a good way, providing that we also have the energy to look outwards and uh, to not be, if, if you will, uh, too introspective. So um, life is good. This is wisdom. This is also looking to advance, okay, spiritually. Um, in different ways so a good background energy to have a good you know what uh, backing of ideas of life experiences as a whole to help in different areas of life let's see now about house number two and we have a nine okay so house number two we're dealing with resources something nears completion okay the element is that of water uh, maybe you're familiar with it Pisces but the element uh, is, is really of a um, thought and idea that's almost there, almost there. Nine, uh, something that pleases maybe a new outlook, maybe a new element of income, okay? So I can't resist but say fluidity, liquidity in a way could be interpreted, could be taken around money, something happy that is nearing a new perhaps revenue stream, a new source of income or something like that maybe on the horizon and if not that could be a thought that you are super excited about and nearing taking action about now to house number three we have now the 10 anyway uh house number three is about thinking communication sometimes learning learning opportunities education to a completion so if you would just look at those three cards here the hermit's wisdom the journeys the inner searching that they go uh, about leads to ideas, leads to thoughts, leads to the energy of completion and new beginnings. So in terms of mindset, we appear to have quite a bit of new, you know what, uh, aspects of looking at things and also gained quite a bit of wisdom based on this conversation here. 
obviously, if it resonates. Now, in the area of home and family life, we have some changes. Uh, we have some creativity activity here that we are dealing with. Uh, a three relates to some thoughts uh, that we are trying to sort out. A three of swords in home and family life does not mean a broken heart. A three of swords means we are actually being very, very rational about thoughts around the household, okay? And it could have to do also a little bit with parenting. We're having to find new logical methods. That's the kind of creativity, guys, that we are talking about around the house, uh, maybe some management of some finances around perhaps the, you know, what project itself around the home itself, renovation, etc. But we are carefully creating a next step. Okay. About to reach the number four stability. Now to house number five, where we talk about pleasures of life, romance, and even children. And you know what the thought is, things are evolving, things are changing. And we're trying to see where, you know what, some events, some, some, um, something may settle. So uh, a changing, a roller coaster effect, if you will, in a way could be out of our control. Now, in the area of romance, I could say that, yeah, there may be some thought there, Pisces, uh, that's evolving still, that's not settled. Because of course, I'm glancing here and I'm seeing what we have here for um, <laughs> marriages and, uh, and partnerships, and we have the lover card. So uh, there could be something here, romantically speaking, for those who are not coupled, uh, you know what, those who are not coupled, but you could have children as well. So something is changing there in outlook on parenting, or I'm leaning more towards a romantic connection. Now, you have a new idea or a new approach in the area of work, a new process maybe you were involved with, a new um, initiative you are being called to join. It's positive. It has, it has this logical element attached to it as well. And it may also deliver an element of status, an element of authority. Also, I can't ignore that house as I glance at house number 10 when I see that you have the strength there. But we'll get to that. Okay. In five, we said, romantically speaking, things may be evolving. Now in seven here, marriages and partnerships, we see the lover. Okay. Someone is being offered. Uh, it is one lover, okay, that has choices to make. And that's an empowered position. That's a very, very uh, steady position to be. It's not always, guys, it's not always, Pisces, about um, two people, right? So that choice, um, I don't always, you know what, like to leave it there to the ego of you're choosing between two of those or two of those. No, no, it could be the fact that you have the ability to choose that in and of itself. You know what means other areas of life have been dealt with are under control, allowing you to actually leisurely take your time, enjoy the connection. So a very, very positive, empowered placement, guys, in my view. And as we move on now to house number eight, shared resources, we are excited about some creativity, okay? It's a three of wands. These are beautiful wands, but for some reason, I'm glancing here and I'm seeing Jupiter anyway about money a three of wands getting more creative now and um, an exciting project an exciting uh, collaborative effort threes are also about collaboration coming together um, is happening for you now in the area of money your own resources we were looking at a happy outlook as well something that was pleasing nearing the completion there may be that element as well connected here with uh, shared investments and resources to the road of philosophy we have the moon to house number nine uh, spirituality um, you're on a track there uh, the track with philosophy and spirituality may not always be a straight up clear track so it takes us time but you're on a uh, road that allows you to enrich okay your life experiences uh, the moon is related to you know what so many feelings and one of them is really opening up to part of our inner you know what that inner search again in a connection in a way 
So a lot of times, Pisces, we may feel alone, uh, but it's not really that we are alone. It's how we look at things. So with the moon's energy, I say we're on a path. A lot of clarity comes with you continuing to explore and experience more with those elements of spirituality, faith, and in a way philosophy, which is seeking more and more wisdom, in a way tying to what this hermit is doing. I don't know if the note was very, very clear here, guys, but uh, this is kind of what I'm getting so far. Now, with respect to um, status, house number 10, achievement. So we have a strength card here uh, that, you know what, is a little different from the typical strength card, but really the message is um, strength at times, at times, yes, you may need to take risks, but you are, uh, you know what, calling on logical elements of how you process information, uh, your ability to take initiative. So that also ties into strength. There's the element of excitement as well. Okay. With house number eight, shared resources, we are generating exciting ideas and these all tie into status status now the one note here just it being the card that it is I, I don't want us to take the you know what illustration and say this is being um forceful too forceful it's an interesting image yes she does have a foot on the lion on top here it looks like she is forcing you know what the lion uh in a way uh their claws may be up there by her knee but I want to say something is that if you look a little bit deeper here, she could actually be helping that line. So again, um, inner strength, guys, the search for those key strong points that we can take and apply into different areas of life. Inner strength uh, could be scary sometimes, you know, what things that we have to face. I mean, I go back to what is it? Alice in Wonderland and meeting the Jabberwocky. Guess what? Sometimes we have to face unpleasant things yet you have the ability to go about that and to go about that in a grounded fashion so um, i like it a lot i like the strength card a lot i like the fact that it ties into an inner searcher as well because that energy connected to this there is a balancing act here this isn't haphazard use of words use of posturing etc etc maybe i dwelled a bit too much here Alrighty, guys, to house number 11, Le Imperatore, okay, <laughs> the emperor, about community ties, friendships, and social life. So, kind energy, <clears throat> visionary in a way, looks forward, builds on a, um, you know, a solid foundation, considers the elements of trust, uh, considers the elements of practicality, considers others so a very very happy positive if you will um, energy for you in social settings Pisces so put that to your advantage these are traits that may resonate with you you probably have them and the ask is uh, be you know what what's the word be the eagle so continue to rise above you know what silliness in social life continue to maintain that kind of an attitude rise above the fray um, to house number 12, and we have the nine of swords. Now, house number 12, I say karma, but it can also mean uh, a thought, a note on what's in the unconscious mind, okay? Uh, nines are about attainment, so nines are logical when they are about swords, okay? Over here, they were making us feel good. Uh, I've seen creativity for you, wanting to complete something. I've seen initiation energy. I see thoughts nearing completion. I see a Pisces who is really, really relying on this. We started with the hermit and it may, if it resonates with you, also spill over to different thoughts that you are rationally and logically organizing to a point of satisfaction, to a point of providing yourself new initiatives, new beginnings, new opportunities using your core competencies and strengths to support other areas of life. So overall, guys, I like the note on the marriage potential and take that with a grain of salt if it resonates with you. But you know what? It is in a way predictive. 
but let's see <laughs> so i hope you guys like today's reading would love it if you would comment and subscribe pisces you are so amazing and of course you know we do love you madly bye for now guys